Today, I want to talk about some of the reasons that you may be seeing lower traffic to your Google Web Stories. We have seen some issues in the past few weeks with Yoast throwing errors, things like that in Google Search Console when it comes to stories. This page here that I have pulled up is one of the more kind of popular errors that we have seen. This error right here where my mouse is um, showing. If you're seeing these errors in your Search Console, if you're unsure, one, how to find the, the errors, you'll go to Google Search Console, click on AMP, and then it will show you errors. So I've clicked on this error, and you can see that it's showing several affected pages. And if you look at this, normally it would say that you could validate fix here, but I actually fixed this yesterday, so it's still validating. Um, so mine will look a little bit different than yours will initially, but once you validate the fix, this is what it'll look like while Google's still trying to crawl it and, and just kind of make sure that everything looks good. So the next question is, how do we fix this? There are some other errors that we're seeing, some AMP errors. A couple of them are things like item name, missing story item missing things like that just kind of some really random errors and what we have found is is that those sites using yoast seo the plugin yoast is it's really causing a conflict with the most recent versions of the web stories plugin so here's how we fix that and i i actually did this fix on my personal blog yesterday just to make sure, hey, this actually works, and it does. Um, over the past week or so, I saw traffic kind of flatline, and I thought, okay, I want to see, is it truly from the errors that Yoast is causing, or is it just kind of the ebb and flow of stories? And so I gave it about a week. Like I said, traffic flatlined for a little bit, and then yesterday, I went through and did these fixes, and immediately yesterday, as soon as Google started validating traffic shot back up on my story. So that tells me that this is one of the major issues with traffic on web stories right now. And again, I'm filming this in October 2021. If you're <laughs> watching this next year, of course, there could be other factors. But for right now, kind of real time, if you're seeing these errors, these are something that you want to get fixed. So if I go over to the back end of my website, and I click add new plugin. I'll find a plugin. I've actually already installed it. And it is called, let's see, WP Rollback is the name of the plugin. You want to install this plugin. There are a couple of ways to do this. We want to basically roll back the Web Stories plugin. So you can always ask your host to roll back the plugin. That saves you from installing one more plugin into your site. But if you want kind of a quick fix, if you just want to do it and be done with it, fix it all at once, you can install this WP Rollback plugin. Once you've installed it and activated it, if you go to your plugin page and install plugins, which is where I am right now, you'll see here under the Web Stories plugin, there is an option to roll back. So I'm going to click roll back. And let me preface this by saying, always before you make any changes like this on your site, back up your site. Make sure you have a full backup of your site because if you do this rollback, something breaks, you've got the backup, you can just restore it. If you're unsure how to do that, ask your host, they will be able to assist you. So yesterday I rolled back from version 1.11.0 to 1.1.1. There's some varying information about what version you should roll back to, things like that. This version works very well. Like I said, the fixes seem to have worked. I saw traffic yesterday. So I'm going to go with this. Um, and again, this, this information could change next week. But for those of you that are seeing these issues right now, I wanted to put this out there. So 1.1.1, and then I'm going to click roll back. And it, and it warns you here, make sure you back up your site <laughs> that, you know, they're not responsible for any issues, anything else, anything like that. Again, definitely back up your site before you do anything like this. So you click roll back. And then you'll click activate plugin. And so if you go back to the Web Stories plugin, you can see that it's the old version. And so I would just leave this out. If you're dead set on using Yoast, um, which honestly, I will probably be switching from Yoast just because we've seen it causing so many issues with stories. There are a few other options out there. Um, but I, you know, I want to give Yoast a fair chance, give them a little bit of time to maybe fix these things. Um, so just keep an eye on Yoast, their help page, 
And then once they get a new version rolled out that hopefully will lessen these conflicts and stop these errors, then you can always update your web stories plugin too once you update Yoast. So this is kind of a band-aid fix for the time being. So once you've done all of this, you'll go back to your Google search console. And again, I've already validated the fix just because I wanted to make sure that it worked. But if you're on this page and you haven't validated, validated your fix, you'll see a button here that says validate fixes. Um, so you just click on that and then it basically tells Google, hey, I fixed it. Can you recrawl the links? And then, like I said, I did this yesterday morning, so less than 12, 24 hours ago, and I started to see traffic skyrocket again last night to my story. So, you know, it does take a few hours, but almost immediately things start to kind of shoot back up again for traffic. So that's one fix. If you're seeing these errors, if, you're, if your traffic is lower for stories, you know, this is not going to apply to everybody, but if your traffic is lower, say, in the past few weeks than it has been previously, check out these errors, see if you have any of these errors. If so, I definitely recommend submitting these fixes, at least for the time being. Um, and then just revalidating or validating your links in Google Search Console. And I think that you'll quickly see traffic start to pick back up again.